Here we're going to tie a tarpon bunny. First thing we're going to do is we're going to tie in our thread about midway down the hook. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of very stiff 20 pound mono. And we're going to tie this in right on top of the hook. And we're doing this, this is going to prevent our fly from fouling. It's common that the tails will wrap around the hook and foul, which would really ruin your cast and your presentation to that tarpon. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of bunny. We're going to tie it off the back of the hook here. You can use magnum strips or standard strips. I'm using a little bit thicker strip on this one. So I'm going to taper the tip here so I can tie it in. Then the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to punch a hole about a quarter to half an inch away from where you tied it in through the rabbit strip. You're going to take that mono, punch it through the rabbit strip. What you're doing is you're forming a loop through that piece of rabbit. And then you simply tie it off right on top of the hook and this will keep it from wrapping and fouling and you can trim that out of there then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a thinner piece of rabbit in a different color here I'm going to use chartreuse we're just going to make a real quick collar with it. You can use zonkered or crosscut rabbit for this. So I'm just going to take that and with each wrap I'm just going to lay everything back. We're just going to do a couple of wraps with this just really really quick and you can just tie it off now we're just going to wrap back up on this just a little bit just to get everything to, to lay back nice. Now we're going to tie in some schlappen. I'm going to be using yellow. We're just going to wrap this around. Each wrap, I kind of try to stroke everything backwards.
And then you just tie it off, capture it. Next, we're going to just kind of stroke everything back with our hands here. We're going to wrap back up on it and try to get it all to lay back. Clean up this front half just a little. I like to kind of taper the head a little bit, clean everything up. More just for looks, more than anything. Now you're ready to whip finish. And the last thing to do is to super glue, super glue that head. I like these tarpon bunnies to be as durable as possible. I just take some super glue and cover that head completely. That's all there is to the tarpon bunny.